Hey, how are you doing guys? Lewis here with Fedivo and today we're going to cover a quick tip on an issue that really plagued me when I first got into both photo and video because it's applicable to both hobbies or professions. And it's where you're filming or you're photographing a horizon and you pan right or left, either with a video or you're taking a panoramic photo. The tripod level, a uh, bubble level says that the tripod is level and the balance meter on the camera also says that the camera is balanced. However, what you find is as you start to pan left or right, the horizon, which was once level, starts to become wonky. Why is that? Well, let's cover over the reasons why and how to fix it. So what is happening? Well, before we go into this, let's give you a simple exercise to follow at home. I want you to keep your head straight and turn left to right. And what happens is your eye line moves in a very straight line. However, if you were to tilt your head upwards by the tiniest degree, and then look left to right. Your eye line now moves in an arc. And that is what is happening with the tripod. While the tripod legs may say it's balanced, the head is off its horizontal axis. Simply the instrument is lying to you. And in fact, if I step back and look at the tripod legs, I can see the two front ones are extended slightly upward. As a result, when I go to the camera and I see now I'm slightly too far up, I'm gonna tilt this down in order for the level on the camera to be balanced, to be straight with the horizon, sorry. However, when I pan over to the right, I've got the tripod tilted backwards and now the camera is tilted downwards, which causes the horizon to become wonky in the distance. So how do we fix this? Well, we really wanna move away from even looking at the base level on the tripod legs itself. We know that that cannot be uh, trusted. So we wanna look at something like this. This is a Manfrotto video tripod but importantly, the head has its own independent bubble level. So it doesn't matter if this leg is lower, this leg is higher, we can then later balance the head itself. So that's dead center. If we were to plop the camera on here, it doesn't matter what's going on with the legs. This is gonna give us a straight horizontal shot from left to right. Now, this can be quite an expensive purchase, or perhaps if you don't want to look to, to add another tripod to your arsenal, what we can look to do is an old school MacGyver technique and get down and we're looking to level the tripod base with the horizon itself. So let's just lower these legs, keeping the horizon in the background. Okay, and if you're in a location like this, you wanna swap around to the other part of the horizon too so everything is nice and straight with it. Now, this tripod base level is telling me I'm way too further back, but the horizon is nice and centered on screen. And if I was to pan left to right, what I can see is a nice straight horizon. Okay, so that's pretty much how we can do it if we're on location. However, if you do already have wonky footage that uh, you've gone out and shot. Let's go back home and I'll show you how to straighten this up in Premiere Pro or Resolve so it looks completely natural too. All right guys, so I'm here in DaVinci Resolve. I have this clip from the Fediva library. We used this recently actually for a, uh, a tutorial on Photoshop's generative AI. I'm not too sure it's online, but uh, it is a good one. We put a B chart right by there, but you know, this is not part of this tutorial. So let's get to it. Uh, it's a great shot. It's uh, of Normandy Beach in France. But as we pan right, we can start to see the horizon starts to lift up. And I think going off the basis of what I just presented is that the tripod leg, the front leg is slightly downward and they've tilted the head upward, which would cause the, um, the U shape pan here, which was kind of the opposite of what I was getting. Again, it happens all the time. It's so simple to do because I can put money on it that the camera operator was stood here, looked at the tripod, the level said that it was, uh, the bubble level said that it was level and um, hit record. But because the horizon is just a straight line, it's so noticeable uh, when you do start to pan right. So there are two ways in which we can do this. Um, the first is just to do it by eye. Uh, but I think I will just go the long way for this. So I've got a straight white line here that I've just downloaded from Google. Um, you know, you can create one in Photoshop if you want. And what we need to do is, so let's go by here so we can see the edge of where that water sort of starts. And if 
we go forward, we can really see just how much the horizon sort of comes off level. So let's go to the start of the video clip. We're going to go to the rotation angle settings here in the inspector. Select the keyframe, go forward and rotate until we're balanced up with that white line. There we go. So that now stays perfectly centered as we pan right. However, we do have the issue of uh, the area underneath the video uh, showing because we've rotated it from its composition. So we want to go to the edge of here and zoom in. So we'll zoom in until we cannot see underneath the video anymore. Now the white line is going to be off center. Um, whoops. But you know, if we would just bring that up, we can still see it stays level. So now we can delete that and let's hit play. And what we should see is a nice pan right, keeping that very identifiable horizon edge completely straight. So nothing more than a simple rotation uh, keyframe and the job is done. So let's run over what we've discussed. If you're using the bubble level on the tripod legs, the head itself also has to be level. But often this is not the case. Then when this is compensated for another mode of leveling, say by tilting the camera, while the horizon in front of you will be level, it will result in a wonky horizontal pan. This can be fixed by either using a ball head to level the camera independently of the tripod legs, or forgo the idea of looking at the bubble levels altogether and instead look to level the tripod head up against the line of the horizon. I'd maybe look at acquiring a hot shoe attachment if you're not able to find such a straight edge in nature, or even look at using your iPhone. But you will find if you're just using the leveling system built into the legs of the tripod, this issue will persist. I've been Lewis with Fidevo, and I'll catch you guys next week.